Hello, uh, in this video I would like to tell you about uh, cryoablation treatment in uh, prosthetic carcinoma. Uh, prostate cancer is generally managed either surgically or with radiotherapy. Uh, another option is percutaneous ablation, which is in most of the cases uh, cryoablation or the freezing uh, treatments. Uh, cryoablation uh, is uh, preferred in prostate cancer is generally preferred uh, in two situations of uh, prostate carcinoma. The first one is uh, if a patient undergoes radiotherapy and despite radiotherapy uh, the, the disease recurs and it was generally not possible to treat the same region with radiotherapy again. Uh, in this scenario, uh, cryoablation is uh, generally one of the best possible treatment options. And uh, in such patients, we have to freeze the whole prostate gland uh, to, to get a good response. Uh, the other scenario is uh, the focal treatment option. Uh, because of the widespread use of uh, MRI and uh, fusion biopsies, Prosthetic carcinomas are diagnosed uh, at an early stage in most cases. Uh, so uh, such small tumors are generally uh, located in one lobe of the prostate. So it is, it is not necessary to treat the whole prostate gland. Uh, in such cases, if we are able to localize the cancer with imaging methods like um, MRI, and uh, biopsies, then we can put a needle uh, through the skin under ultrasound guidance into this cancer and uh, by freezing it at the temperatures minus 140 degrees, uh, we are able to kill the whole cancerous tissue in the prostate gland uh, without harming the whole prostate gland. Uh, this is called focal prostate cancer treatment. And uh, uh, cryoablation uh, is a well-known technique in, in these cases and it has the advantages of uh, being minimally invasive and uh, performing uh, under local anesthesia and uh, sedation. And shortly after the procedure, the patient may return to normal life. Thank you for listening.